Well, you know it's hot, so let's talk about some of this heat some more. Howell has hit 90 today for the high temperature. Flint and Adrian 89 each, also in Lansing, Lapeer 89. Now it's just a little bit cooler here uh, on the east side, right around Detroit and the east side of our area, because the flow is has been and will be from the, either the east or southeast or northeast, and that interacts with the lakes and cools things off just a little bit. So it's 86 in Detroit. It's a minor difference, but it is an important one if you're talking about that 90 degree threshold. Chicago's almost there. A lot of heat in a lot of spots. You can see showers and thunderstorms. Iowa, parts of Minnesota just kind of flirting with the western UP. It stays out there for days and so I still think we're going to be dry. We talked about this before. High pressure out by Massachusetts is pushing everything around us. Close to us the next couple of afternoons there could be little tiny flare-ups in southwest Michigan or western lower Michigan but around here we have had 10 days since any rain. We'll probably do another 10. I know that's not great for all the plants and plants and grass and the farmers and all that, but that's the way it looks again. Pushing 90 in Detroit this week, uh, but not until Friday. 80 degrees still this evening, clear skies. That's a mid evening temperature at 8 o'clock overnight, 63 in clear skies. Again, you notice these little east to southeast winds keeping a little bit cooler on the east side and the west side. So there'll probably be some more 90s tomorrow and touching that uh, temperature out by US 23 and to the west. Mostly sunny tomorrow, 86 in Detroit. Just because the day after tomorrow, Thursday, is the start of hurricane season officially. Here's the list of names. Are you on there? I'm not this year, have been before, but anyway, we go 90 on Friday, upper 80s Thursday and Saturday and just starting to mellow out, but not until early next week on Tuesday.